I have so much to do. <laughs> Each day it just keeps piling up. So today I am staying inside and we are going to go through everything that needs done inside the home on our homestead. This is my main job is being a homemaker. It looks different for everybody. I don't wear linen dresses. I, <laughs> I don't do all of those things. In fact, I'm in an oversized t-shirt and black sweatpants just because it's freezing and this is what's comfortable. So today I'm gonna to take you along with me as we prepare for the holidays here on the homestead, which I'm excited to start decorating. But uh, first we need to start making a loaf of bread because nothing says homemaking like a loaf of sourdough bread. This video is going to be unfiltered. I'm gonna show you exactly what is going on in our house right now. So we had a play date yesterday. I have these indoor snowballs because they had a snowball fight with some snacks. <laughs> we have a bag of dum-dums because my parents are obsessed with candy. So they give us ridiculous amounts of candy that oftentimes go in the garbage. Um, and then we had bag <laughs> bagels. I have eggs that are ready to go for customers, a plant that my friend gave me and I really need to get stuff for it. We're going to talk about this awesome tool in this video. So stay tuned. I have no paper towels. It is a complete disaster around here. I have all of this going on. Babies, dogs, my dog pooped and peed on the dog bed. So we're going to have to go pick up a new dog bed today. Yeah, the house is not in good shape. So we are going to fix this today. Bathroom's a mess. Bedroom's a mess. Baby's bedroom <laughs> mess. This is life. This is life. So let's, let's straighten things up. All right, now let's start making our sourdough. I am putting in... 475 grams of bread flour, 375 grams of filtered water, 100 grams of starter, and 12 grams of salt. And then I'm just using my hands to mix this together. I'll put a card up here at the top of the screen so you guys can watch this video if you're interested in more sourdough content. I love making sourdough. And honestly, I've had a bit of a struggle lately because of the change in weather that will affect my sourdough so much. So I am really going back to the basics here in this loaf. Two things that really affect my sourdough are humidity and temperature. So I'm hoping to control that a little bit with a heating pad when I make this loaf. Now it's time to feed Theo. She just started to have some baby food and she is loving carrots. Carrots are like her jam. I think this is pears though, and you can tell it's a little sweet for her. <laughs> All right, what are you doing? Goodbye. The special more chance I think he's for the seven minutes. I think he's. What? <laughs> I think he's over seven minutes. I think he's over here. Over here to go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I wish you picked it up. Getting ready for the holidays with a toddler <laughs> is nearly impossible. All right, I'm moving the furniture around and this is disgusting. Smart Saker sent me this handheld vacuum and it's a three-in-one vacuum cleaner. It comes with a little bag that you can put all of the tools in and a bunch of different attachments. The one thing about this that I think is really cool is that you can put an attachment on the back and it becomes a blower. So this is gonna work really well when we're trying to get our fire started downstairs. I'm sure I'll do a video on that. But for right now, we're gonna use this to clean off the trim from moving all the furniture because it is not good. I'm just going to take the vacuum and clean up the rug here in our living room after moving the furniture around. I noticed there was, as you can imagine, a bunch of dog hair getting moved around. It just seems like the perfect time to go through the toy bin 
and donate some stuff. What do you think, Colt? An apple. Okay. So we're gonna go through the toy bin, things that he hasn't used or I don't foresee Theo using. We're gonna go ahead and take out and donate. That way he has room for the toys that he gets for this Christmas. All right, it is definitely not the best situation for all of our stuff, but it's gonna work because we're putting the Christmas tree right there. So then you can still see it out the window. But this is how it's gonna be. <laughs> I got rid of a bunch of toys and yeah, kids are spoiled, but a lot of it's books and bigger toys, which is okay. And then we just have a pile of blankets and baby's diaper basket for her stuff so I can change her down here. Yeah. <laughs> Colton, can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> so this is it, guys. This is homemaking unfiltered. Stairs are so dirty. Throw out some of the stuff up here, but I'm still working. I'm still working through it. I actually forgot about my sourdough, so I just did the first lift and fold, which is probably 40 minutes late. And it's still looking good though. We're okay. <laughs> um, now it's time to unload the dishwasher because I didn't do that this morning, which is usually what I do the first thing in the morning and clean up the kitchen. I usually have a really good routine when it comes to dishes, but this day was just kind of getting away from me. So I'm just throwing stuff in now that have been sitting in the sink. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start my stretch and folds on my loaf of bread. You can see here that it's looking really good. I have it sitting on a heating pad and it seems to be helping a lot. It is pretty cold out. It's like in the 40s, I think. So our house is around 65, which isn't great for my sourdough. It doesn't seem to bulk up like it normally does. Now that the kids are just hanging out, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up their rooms. This is actually Colton's bedroom and his chore is to make his bed, but he's three and that rarely happens. So I just go ahead and make it for him because I don't like walking past the bedrooms and having beds unmade. I don't know, it's just something that makes me feel good when I walk past bedrooms and everything's kind of made. So. I am going to go ahead and make our bed as well. We just got this comforter from Target and we are obsessed with it. I'll go ahead and link it in the description. I can't remember the name brand off the top of my head, but it's a linen comforter and it's so comfortable. It is my favorite thing. It is almost time for preschool drop off. So got both the kids dressed, did a little tummy time with Theo and Colton is playing with her now. I am going to be doing my last set of stretch and folds for this loaf. It's looking really good. This is a different recipe than I normally use. So I will link it. It's Farmhouse on Boone. Working out really well. The dough looks amazing and it's already starting to rise, which is great, especially since it's colder here. As you can see, my bread is looking really good. It's nice and stretchy. It's pretty sticky. So I'm really happy with how it is turning out. I have it sitting on a heating mat on warm just to keep it at a consistent temperature. Like I said, my house is not that warm right now, so I need to do something to help bulk up this bread. <laughs> I went to Walmart after preschool drop off and things just got a little crazy at Walmart. I ended up buying a new coffee maker because I think we have well water. I'm gonna start using the Berkey in this one, but I haven't been, and I think that one has gone bad. It's tasting a little funky. So I got this, I got a couple candles, and then I started decorating um, while the baby was sleeping. But that's as far as I've gotten, and my bread is doing great. It's starting to rise already. But the new living room setup is throwing me off. It's really crowded to go get Colton here in a few minutes I'm gonna enjoy this nice hot cup of coffee sometimes on days like this I know this is a homesteading channel and I know some of you guys are probably wondering what the heck's going on but my portion of being a homesteader is really homemaking it's taking care of everything inside the home which includes like decorating and making sure that we have working appliances I want you guys to realize that not all homesteading moms are out there in their linen dresses, turning butter, 
a lot of us are going to Walmart and buying ourselves a new coffee maker. <laughs> Cheers. We just got back from preschool. Did you have a good day? Yeah. What did you learn today? The letter F. The letter F? What sound does the letter F make? Good job. I'm going to make a Dutch oven chicken pot pie. They're so good. I'll show you guys how I make that. This is always my hack. If I need chicken to be done for a recipe, I throw it in my air fryer for like 16 to 18 minutes. And then it is done and ready to add to any recipe. So if something calls for a rotisserie chicken um, and I don't have that or I haven't saved chicken from the week, I just throw a chicken breast or two right into my air fryer, cook it up for a few minutes, and it works perfect. This Dutch oven chicken pot pie is so good. I just use a pastry roll from the store. These are like the Pillsbury ones. <laughs> Nothing of this recipe is from our homestead two cans of this cream of chicken and then a bag of frozen vegetables garlic and onions that we grew and that's pretty much about it some milk and flour and super easy i will put this recipe in the description as well because i make it all the time and it's so easy I just saute the onions and garlic in some avocado oil and then I put everything else right into the pot, mix it, and then I put my chicken in, put the puff pastry on the top, and let it bake in the oven. I really enjoy this, especially this time of year. It's nice and warm and homey. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I'll put the link in the description below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will catch you in our next video. Bye guys.